Oh, what to do? It's your boy Moreau back again with another reaction. Before we hop into it, make sure you subscribe to my channel, check out my SoundCloud, all my social media in the description box. Also, my debut single "Handle It" is out now on all streaming platforms. Link also in the description box. Let's hop into it. Today we got Olivia Rodrigo with "Enough Enough for You" live. This is off her debut album that just dropped, "Sour." I haven't listened to the album yet because I've been trying to wait to see if I was going to react to more songs or just listen to it, you know? So I haven't decided yet, but enough of you. Let's check it out. Her, the way she's coming on the track, like her singing and the the breathy, like I don't, it's very. I know Taylor Swift is like her queen. She idolizes her. It's like her biggest influence. All that. This is definitely giving me Taylor vocally. Like she's heavily influenced by Taylor. Okay, does she have any like positive songs? Because, no, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with it, but every song I've heard so far is like some turmoil, how you say it, turmoil with like her and a guy or her and that dude or whatever. Deja Vu, Driver's License, uh, Good For You have all been pretty much about the same guy or situation or just situations in general that haven't worked out. Um, you know, just negative relationship shit. I haven't really heard any like lovey type of songs or any other topics yet. Um, it's interesting though. She's definitely giving me like, what are those artists like Mary J. Blige, Keisha Cole? They're known for like making like, I won't say men bashing songs, but like heartbreak records, things like that. Found someone more exciting the next second you you left me there crying, wondering what I did wrong And you always say I'm never satisfied But I don't think that's true Cause all I ever wanted was to be enough for you Yeah, all I ever wanted was to be enough for you Mmm, and those lyrics take deep because as I guess as sad as that sounds, you know, as like it's just like it sounds sad and desperate and like delusional but it's when you're when you like somebody or you're falling in love with somebody that's what you are sad desperate delusional like and you just want to feel good enough for that person which you should always just feel good enough for yourself and you know but i get it hmm she has those lyrics that just really you know it's like things that you don't really want to say or admit but she gonna say it Maybe I'm just not as interesting as the girls you had before. But God, mm -mm. you couldn't have cared less about someone who loved you more. And so you broke my heart, but you broke much more than that. Now I don't want your sympathy and just want myself back before you. Mm. You broke something more than just my heart, which is like, for me, I the way I'm taking it is like, he broke her spirit too. Uh, this is speaking from experience, you know, like I relate to this for sure. Because woof. Mm, these men out here. The next second you were gone. And they never grow up, so Olivia, get used to it, because you got many years of heartbreak to come. <laughs> I 
I want to hear. I need to listen to the um, the album version of this because I I want to know if there's like more production to it. Because even though this is cool, it's like the melody on this like little bridge or whatever. It's not. It's kind of like there's kind of like no melody. Like the guitar is not really. I don't know. Like it worked for the verses and the hook, but I don't know. It's like. Hmm. -mm. I need to hear the the album version. Cause it's like the the way she's singing the bridge doesn't go with the way she's playing the guitar. Right? Well, I was like, is she is she done? <laughs> It's not. You say you'll never satisfy, but that's not me, it's you. Oh. <sighs> Thank you. Like, this song is describing a narcissist. Woo. And I know a lot of y'all out there are dealing with some narcissists right now. That's making you think you're crazy, but you're not crazy, okay? That's, the, that's what they do. They try to flip it on you. Woo. I bet you he a Leo. <laughs> hmm. Okay, Olivia. I like the lyrics on that. That it. That's it. That was Olivia Rodrigo. Enough for you live. This is off of her debut album. Sour is out now. Make sure you go check that out. Um, as far as like the like the video, the live video was cool, like very simple, black and white, just her on a stool, showing her vocals, playing guitar, cute, um, very, you know, indie pop type of thing. Um, it was the lyrics for me. I don't really know how the production sounds because I haven't heard the album and this was just her doing the acoustic version, I'm assuming. I don't know if it's acoustic on the album. I don't know, but um, as far as the lyrics go, like, I always say this, she's an A1 songwriter. That's what kind of draws me to her, is her songwriting ability. She's super relatable. The fact that she's only 18, it's like she hasn't even lived no type of life yet, and she's already been through all this stuff. I'm like, damn, girl, ooh, you got a long life ahead of you, because if you already experienced all these things like before 18, you're, she's about to have some fire albums to come because she's going to experience a lot of heartbreak and bullshit in her 20s, okay? <laughs> Trust me. But yeah, I like that. If you like that too, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, check out my SoundCloud or my social media in the description box, and I'll see you on the next one.